Um, I have a video of Michael Irving that was... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Damn. Fucking wind. Ow. Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you tune in today, 5 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. I'll be right here at uh, Joe Boo's Man Cave. You know, I may have gotten to 100,000 subscribers, but that doesn't mean that I don't mess some shit up, because uh, for whatever reason, my recording this morning, I was trying to hurry up record that and get up the road because I had to help my parents take care of some stuff and uh, see my good friend Alex's widow up on the way, go here, take care of some things. I got some stuff in the workshop that I needed for you guys and uh, check on my fish. There's a lot of things to do and I thought I had it right and uploaded it, but then I realized because everybody sent me messages, your volume is ass ass. So um, it just is what it is. Even though I've gotten to be 100,000 subscribers, doesn't mean that I'm changing. I am not at all. So here's one of the things that... Um, I want to kind of go through here. It's kind of interesting. Um, the Cowboys uh, lost another player to the Commanders. I'm literally saying that let's just call the Washington Commanders North Dallas Commanders, you know, like North Dallas 40, you know, because now they've got four former players. Is a defensive back, Noah, starts with, a, I, I can't pronounce the name, you know, congratulations, you know, good luck to you and everything else and so on. Um, but here's what's interesting to me in my mind, and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I was talking to my buddy um, Derek uh, from Megabytes. Shout out to Megabytes. He called me because he knows that my computer is crashing and stuff like that. So he's like, you know, let me help you out because I'm going to tell you, he's had every kind of computer in the world work on. Somebody's actually shot. A, a laptop and brought it in and said can you fix it and i believe he fixed it so when there's a problem you know you got to call an expert to take care of fixing things that are broken which is something that the cowboys don't do um shout out to dac attack because he had pointed out uh one of the guys who's the right hand man for stephen jones um who's been working with the Cowboys for about 20 years before he started working for the Cowboys. He was a volunteer equipment manager and for marketplace grill was a trainer of servers and hospitality. And so of course that translates to being a capologist because the Cowboys right now are literally last in salary cap space because they've chose not to do anything about restructuring other than Zach Martin to get to where they want to be i remember derek as well as many many others that say we need to tank or we need to just blow it all up and start all over um and if that's what you want in some regards aren't they kind of doing that because as we go through here what is the definition of blowing up a team? Okay. Blowing up a team is literally blowing it up and starting all over, right? Well, when you think that losing Tyron Smith, who's old guard, that's one of the last players that we had from, you know, one of the few players remaining from the Jason Garrett era. I mean, we've got Dak and we've got D Law, and I don't know who else. Who else is still from the Jason Garrett era? Oh, Zach Martin. That's about it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I may be wrong on that, but pretty much that is it. Um, when you think about the Cowboys' 2018 draft, now that Van Der Esch and Michael Gallup are gone, there's nobody there from that draft class. When you think about Biotish, who we traded for with the Eagles, you've got two positions on the offensive line that are gone. Now, I'm not going to tell you to get rid of Zach Martin and Tyler Smith because those two are cornerstone pieces, although Zach Martin is older. And Terrence Steele, you just signed to an $84 million contract, so you're not going to do that. You think of your running game. Rico, as well as uh, Tony Pollard, they're gone. Um, 
your defensive front. You know, Randy Gregory went a couple of years ago. Uh, Dorrance Armstrong is now gone. You think about um, Dante Fowler, Navelle Gallimore. I don't know if they're bringing back Hankins. We don't even know if they're bringing back Stephon Gilmore. Um, I don't know how much more you're looking at to say, blow it up. You literally are imploding part of the building. You are literally starting all over. Now, it's funny because you'll see, you know, uh, where people will say, are the Cowboys setting up Mike Zimmer for failure and yada, 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 which is not different than what we hear every year. And I've said myself, are they setting up Mike McCarthy for failure? In fact, I should go back to some of those videos because in essence, we always say that they're setting them up for failure. And what's crazy is, Mike McCarthy's still been here for four years. This is the fifth year, in case we haven't really noticed it. We keep thinking that it's going to fail, it's going to fail. Now, if you are looking at blowing it up, the only other thing that you could do to blow this up, you, you can let Dak Prescott walk. And maybe this is the way that they're blowing it up because by letting go all the free agents that you did, you basically have yourselves four compensatory picks next year. Um, if you're saying you're blowing it up, well, you got Mike Zimmer on one year, he could become the head coach or uh, go elsewhere. You're going to basically, basically leave money on the table for a new guy to come in. You're going to have 11 draft picks unless you trade some of those away. And you'll basically be starting over with nothing but young guys other than possibly Dak Prescott if the new guy wants to keep him. Or enough draft capital, maybe you try and get into the first round. And the thing that I find funny is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the Cowboys do. It doesn't. Because I'm beginning to realize that nobody will be happy. Case in point, Eric Kendricks. Monday, when it was rumored that the Cowboys were going to sign him, some people were happy. Tuesday, it was rumored he was going to San Francisco. We had everybody saying he's a bum. Wednesday, we sign him, and oh, we're bringing in this guy. Oh, man, this is nobody. They're not happy. And so now you're going through, before we used to hear, we believe in our own guys. And people weren't happy with that. Oh, man, get rid of those guys. We get rid of those guys, Tyron Smith and, you know, Tony Pollard, guys that people said don't sign. And now people are mad that we let them go. You got to pick a side. You got to pick a side. At least, at least at the moment, the Cowboys, they enjoy position flex. Well, this is team flex. If we do what we're doing and we have a major league and they go through and they win the you know the whole thing and save the team, then they're great. Hey, extend Mike McCarthy and Mike Zimmer. If they don't, well, it's okay because we got draft picks and we got cash. As we sit here and people will say we're last in salary cap space because they choose to be, well, next year we're like fourth or fifth in cap room right now projections because we're taking all the hits this year so maybe the implosion is already underway that's all i can tell you all right good people let me go out here and check the fish and uh i will see you guys in about two hours peace